Welcome back Auto Reviews. Today we are diving into one of the most fascinating and expensive topics in military aviation, the performance and cost of United States fighter jets, from the legendary fourth generation designs to the cutting edge fifth generation machines and now the upcoming sixth generation projects. This is a review that covers not just how these jets perform in the air, but also how much they actually cost the American taxpayer, and why the numbers are so staggering when compared to almost any other defense program in the world. When we talk about American fighter jets, the first thing that comes to mind for many people is the F-16 Fighting Falcon. This aircraft has been flying since the late 1970s and has proven itself in countless conflicts. In terms of performance, it is agile, lightweight, and has been upgraded continuously. Even though it is considered a fourth-generation fighter, it remains one of the most exported and battle-tested jets in history. The cost of an F-16 today, depending on the configuration, is anywhere between 30 to 40 million dollars per unit. Compared to more modern fighters, that price is almost a bargain, but remember that the operating cost per hour still runs high, with fuel, maintenance, and spare parts driving the total bill into the tens of thousands of dollars per flight hour. Moving up the ladder, the F-15 Eagle deserves recognition as one of the most successful fighters ever built. With a combat record of over 100 victories and zero losses, the F-15 was designed for air superiority and has continued to dominate for decades. Its upgraded version, the F-15EX, represents a modern twist on a classic design. The performance is exceptional with a powerful radar, large payload, and the ability to carry advanced missiles and bombs. But the price is also significantly higher. The F-15X comes in at roughly $90 million per aircraft, and when you factor in long-term sustainment, that number balloons much further. Yet, the Air Force believes that the F-15X is worth it, because it can carry heavier weapons than the F-35 and has proven reliability. Now we arrive at the stealth era, the fifth generation fighters, and here the conversation becomes even more dramatic. The F-22 Raptor was the world's first operational fifth generation fighter jet. Its performance is unmatched in terms of stealth, supercruise, maneuverability, and sensor integration. Pilots who have flown it describe it as a machine that dominates the skies before the enemy even knows it's there. But this capability came with a massive price. Each F-22 costs around $150 million to build, and when the entire program cost is averaged out, the price tag per plane rises closer to $300 million. Production was cut short after fewer than 200 jets were built, making the Raptor rare, expensive to maintain, and highly protected by US law against export. Its performance is legendary, but the cost remains one of the biggest criticisms of the program. Then comes the F-35 Lightning II, the most famous and controversial jet of modern times. Designed to be a multirole fighter available in three variants, the F-35A for the Air Force, the F-35B for the Marine Corps with vertical takeoff ability, and the F-35C for the Navy's aircraft carriers, this jet was meant to be the backbone of American and Allied air power. Performance-wise, the F-35 excels in stealth, situational awareness, and advanced networking capabilities, though it is not as fast or agile as the F-22. The strength of the F-35 lies in its sensors and its ability to link with other platforms. But the price is staggering. Depending on the model, the unit cost ranges from $80 million to $115 million. And when sustainment and lifetime operating costs are factored in, Estimates put the total program cost at well over $1 trillion, making it the most expensive weapons program in history. Still, the F-35 is widely exported, with allies like the UK, Japan, Israel, and many others buying the jet to secure their air superiority for the future. Looking ahead, the next big step for the United States is the sixth generation. The Air Force has already announced the F-47, the centerpiece of the next generation air dominance program. This is not just a single fighter but a family of systems, with the crewed F-47 acting as the quarterback, supported by autonomous drones known as collaborative combat aircraft. Performance expectations include extreme stealth, longer range to penetrate enemy defenses without tanker support, powerful sensors, and the ability to direct unmanned wingmen. The cost is expected to be astronomical, with estimates of hundreds of millions per jet, possibly making the F-22 look cheap in comparison. 
Boeing has won the contract to build it, and while the details remain classified, it is clear that this jet will redefine what air dominance means. The U.S. Navy is pursuing its own sixth-generation project, known as the FAXX. This fighter is intended to replace the FA-18E F Super Hornet and work alongside the F-35C. Performance goals include greater range, improved stealth, advanced electronic warfare capabilities, and integration with unmanned systems. Since naval aviation has unique challenges, including catapult launches and carrier landings, the FAXX must be designed for ruggedness and versatility. Prices are still speculative, but with development, testing, and future procurement, each aircraft will likely exceed $200 million. The Navy has suggested it may be the last manned fighter it ever develops, with future generations possibly being fully unmanned. Now when we review performance across all these jets, from F-16 to F-AXX, one theme is clear, each new generation pushes the limits of technology but also pushes the cost curve to new heights. An F-16 or even F-15 of may look affordable in comparison to an F-35, but when maintenance, spare parts, and upgrades are factored in, no modern fighter is truly cheap. The F-22 remains unmatched in dogfighting performance, but its high cost ended production early. The F-35 represents a network, stealthy multirole platform, but its price tag and sustainment challenges make it controversial. And the sixth-generation jets are expected to be even more expensive, though they promise unprecedented capabilities. From a taxpayer perspective, the question becomes how much is too much. The United States spends more on defense than any other nation, and fighter jets represent a significant portion of that spending. Performance is necessary to deter adversaries like China and Russia, but the financial burden is extraordinary. A single squadron of F-35s can cost billions, and over its lifetime, the jet may cost even more in maintenance than in purchase price. This is why some analysts argue for balancing high-end stealth jets with cheaper, more numerous aircraft like updated F-16s or drones. Another point worth reviewing is the operating cost per hour. For the F-16, it averages around $22,000 per flight hour. For the F-15EX, it is closer to $30,000. For the F-22, reports suggest numbers upwards of $60,000 per flight hour. And for the F-35, it currently sits around $35,000 per hour, though the Pentagon aims to reduce that number. The next-generation fighters are expected to cost even more per hour, raising serious questions about affordability. Performance is one thing, but if the aircraft are too expensive to fly regularly, training suffers and combat readiness declines. It is also important to recognize the export side of the review. The F-16 has been exported widely because it is relatively affordable and versatile. The F-35 is also being sold to dozens of countries, helping to spread the cost burden and making it a truly global program. But the F-22 was never exported, and the F-47 NGAD is unlikely to be shared with allies either, given its classified technology. The Navy's FAXX may eventually be offered to trusted partners, but again the price tag could be prohibitive. Performance reviews from pilots consistently highlight the shift from pure speed and maneuverability to stealth, sensors, and information dominance. Modern combat is less about close-range dogfights and more about striking first from a position of invisibility. The F-35, despite its critics, embodies that philosophy. The F-22 still reigns supreme in air-to-air -air combat, but it is limited in numbers. The future F-47 and F-AXX will push this philosophy further, working hand-in-hand -hand with drones, artificial intelligence, and advanced weapons that go beyond anything seen today. When it comes to cost, one way to think about it is return on investment. These jets are not just machines, they are symbols of national power and deterrence. Their performance ensures that the United States maintains air superiority, a cornerstone of modern warfare. The price is astronomical, but for the Pentagon, the cost of not having these capabilities would be even higher. That is why Congress continues to fund these programs despite criticism. To wrap up this review, America's fighter jets represent the pinnacle of performance, from the F-16's agility and affordability to the F-22's dominance, the F-35's advanced stealth networking, and the upcoming F-47 and F-AXX sixth-generation designs that promise to revolutionize the skies again. 
but the prices are equally staggering, with unit costs ranging from 30 million to well over 200 million, and lifetime costs running into the trillions. This is the balance of power, technology, and economics that defines US air power today. So whether you see these jets as marvels of engineering or as examples of runaway defense spending, one thing is undeniable. The United States has built, and continues to build, the most advanced fighter aircraft in the world. Their performance is unmatched, their costs are unparalleled, and their presence ensures that American skies remain secure for the foreseeable future.